All right, guys, this is episode number 94, closing in on 100 videos, 94. So we're in the middle of a 21-day challenge to do 21 giveaways. I'll do the randomization on July 12th, which is my birthday. So I'll be 36 years old. Oh, my. For my mail day video, I want you to pick your favorite team. What would you like to have? Maybe you have a favorite team of the Chicago Cubs. Maybe you want Rizzo and Chris Bryant and Ryan Sandberg. So let me know what your favorite team is, maybe some players in there, and I'll put together a little care package that fits your, your favorite team. Okay, so any sport, and I'll see what I have. I'll put something together. So I got presents in the mail. All you gotta do is send them money and they just give you cards. It's really cool. All right, so the first one I'm gonna open is from my favorite store, eBayer. It is DC Sports 87. And I enjoy looking at those every single night. Okay, so there's always cards you can find. What I appreciate with them is they do combine shipping and they're consistent. They have cards every single night. And we're talking three to 400 auctions every single night at least. Sometimes it's in the thousands. Okay, so if you don't, if you've never heard of DC Sports 87, so I guess they do live breaks. I'm not very big into case breaks, live breaks, that kind of stuff for, for entering. I love watching them though. eBay ID, DC Sports 87, check them out. Guy must be named Zach. Hi Zach, if you're watching DC Sports. I should put them in the, the title description because they're awesome. All right, so here are the cards that I picked up. I'm not gonna say the price because I don't remember. Um, most of these are between two and six dollars a piece. First off, we have a Byron Buxton jersey, numbered to 99. This is from 2020 Chronicles. It's the Spectra design. We have a Carmelo Anthony Topps rookie. I'm picking up Carmelo, Dwayne Wade, Chris Paul. I love the mid 2000s rookies. I didn't buy packs and collections really a whole lot at that time, so I don't have a huge amount. Like Vince Carter, Dirk Nowitzki, I had a whole bunch of 98.99 or Duncan Garnett. But I, a lot of the collections that I bought were 90s stuff they wanted to give away. They didn't really want to give away the newer stuff. So Carmelo Anthony, rookie. I wonder what the A means. Next up, we have a Max Kepler autograph, number to 300. He's having kind of a down season, but he's a, one of the fan favorites in Minnesota. So I can hopefully sell this. I think I got it for $6. I think if I mark it for $12, I can sell it at a garage sale. Next up, Adam Thielen. He doesn't have a whole lot of cards, doesn't really have a true rookie card. So not one with like a rookie logo and a whole lot of different ones. So. 2018 is when you start seeing some cards for this dude. Went to Mankato State, about two hours west of here. So it's a prism numbered 250, orange prism out of optic. Great card. Grant Hill jersey. It's an early year game jersey from 2002, 2003. Got a neat design here. So I have a Gary Payton just like this. The last one from DC Sports in this package, Patty Mahomes out of Mosaic, the Mosaic Prism. This one I'll probably put in a snap case. I think I got it for 11. I think I can mark it for 20. Especially in the fall when everyone's looking for Patrick Mahomes. All right, let's see what I got. package. Oh, two grading cards. Graded cards. So like I've said, I'm still buying Derek Jeter tops. I got one for $36 last night. So I'm buying Derek Jeter cards more than ever. A little stubborn. You get all the tape first. All right, 
So we have two cards here. We have a 91 Stadium Club, Brett Favre, and a 93 Tops, Derek Jeter. All right. So that Brett Favre, it's actually spelled wrong on the case and on the card. It's spelled F-A-V-R-E, so it is a known error. Because why wouldn't you think it's Favre spelled like that? I always found this card interesting. Got the stadium club that year, like to put the rookie card in the back. Hey, I recognize the card. I wish they would have been more creative with that. All right, and then Derek Jeter, PSA 8. Pop count for these are about 8,000. I don't think we'll see a huge rise in Jeter pop counts because unless they bring the grading fees way down, I don't think people are gonna trade 93 tops. Jeters, if they don't think they're gonna get a nine or a 10 anymore. So that $50 price point is pretty good for the average person that likes Derek Jeter. Even the raw cards go for about 30 bucks now. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather have a graded Derek Jeter. But that's just me. This one is packaged really well. So this card is kind of funny. So I, I sold this card, I think, to my friend Evan for $40. And when he was at the card sh my card show, garage sale, I was looking for comps and I was like, oh man, if I sell you this one, I want a replacement because I do like this card. So I sold mine to Evan for about 40, I believe. And this one was about 40, I believe too. So didn't make any money on that because I bought another one a week later. Still cool. All right. So it's a, and I, Maybe the one I sold my friend actually had better jersey combos. So not the best investment there. Sold one, bought one for the same price, and he got a better jersey. That's fine. <clears throat> All right, next up. Oh, just show my address. Wonderful. Oh, well. Good thing I show my address with eight minutes in. Most people don't watch it after that, after like three minutes. Ooh, uh, Kirby. It's a Kirby Pocket PSA 8. I don't know if this is the safest investment I was looking at. So I bought Market Movers. I've been working on getting my collection in there and kind of learning the features. Eventually I'll show Market Movers. The PSA 9. When I first started looking at these, I had a price point of $50 again and they were $89.90 just recently, so these have been a steady climb upwards, which is interesting. And I wonder if this would get a nine if it was centered better. You can see that it's not centered properly. Two more packages. My favorite things to show on mail are the ones that are a whole random bunch of cards. I think this one is a bunch of random. And another bucket. So right now, I think I have four PSA 9s and I think four PSA 8s and two 7s. It might be probably a top five card, in my opinion, in my favorite. So I, I like the Puckett 85 tops. I'm a big fan of 2020 Bo Bichette, that that card image. 93 tops. Those would be my top three. For baseball I have to think about the last two maybe 89 Bowman Griffey I gotta pick one more that I have hmm I'm a big fan of 87 Don Ross Bonds I don't know why I like that one so much but no no 91 chipper 91 chipper tops 
That would round out my top five. Can't leave Chipper out of it. Actually, I might have graduated. Maybe it's more Bowman. Maybe it's 91 Bowman Chipper. Ooh, this one is supplies. That's right. All right, so this one. So if you didn't see that previous video. So it's a 1951 remake, Blake Jamison's artwork. So <clears throat> I bought some of these holders, and they're little mini holders. So it's a holder within a holder. So I'll put all these in sleeves. I don't know if I'll top load them. I also got a, another set that's open for $24 free shipping. So if you don't mind having them open and not taking a chance and getting the hits, I bought a complete set, 52 cards, open for $24 free shipping. So I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll sleeve both the sets and I see myself putting them on my store eventually where you get two of the same cards for a price. Or I might have one set together. I think if I sleeve them up and present it nicely, maybe I can get a little bit more. But I might have one set maybe in sleeves and then one you can buy the individual singles. But there's a big difference in price when you get one pack compared to eight packs. So I'll always look for that deal. I think this is 200 of these. I'll always look for the deal for these because then I could sell these in my garage sale because I could find someone that would be interested in this for just above the, the price that I paid it for. And if I can offer random supplies like that for pretty close to what I paid for it, I think that will be appreciated for some local collectors. All right, that's all I have for today. Let me know what your favorite player is so I can find you a little care package. You might want to set a little reminder on your phone for July 11th. I would highly recommend this. Set a reminder on your phone so you can actually go and make sure you have a comment for each and every video. And I believe that's what made the amount of impressions and views to go way up the day before my last one in, what I do in April? April 1st giveaway, I think. But the amount of views skyrocketed this day. So it's still the highest amount of views and impressions that I've had was the day before the giveaway. Because I think a lot of people's strategy, which is a great strategy, you don't comment at all until the day before and try to sneak in a comment not a bad strategy at all okay but july 11th i would put a little reminder in your phone and comment and i would very would, if you won multiple let's say you won three and you're thinking eh, i wonder if there's anything else that's more specific to my interest in the hobby i will negotiate with that okay if you can get cards that mean a little bit more to you that's perfectly fine Okay, so let's say you win three random giveaways and you maybe you like the cards, but you're thinking, what if I were to just get one card instead? Do you have anything like this? And we can negotiate there. More than happy to have some happy followers, subscribers. So I love the hobby. Rather pass on my cards, people that love it. All right, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you're still watching it, please like it. Share it with your neighbor, share it with your uncle. Share with your kid's babysitter, anybody, anybody, please. All right, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.